When Sunny went missing, everyone thought Sunny was dead. Carly's heartbroken during the process of searching for Sunny. Carly could not sleep for a moment. Carly had lost a lot of weight, but there's not even a bit of Sunny's news. And Sunny's lineage pressure Carly intensely, because the two do not have children. There is no head to manage, so without Sunny, things are very complicated. Sunny has a close friend named Jason, and Jason is also an influential person and a member of Sunny's family. Jason has a handsome appearance, a strong and independent personality. After several months, there is no news from Sunny. The people in the clan are like fire now. It's impossible without a leader. Now the family is forcing Jason and Carly to get remarried. Things are getting out of control. Carly only saw Jason as a friend, never thinking anything beyond friendship. But now the family is forcing Jason and Carly to get married. This is impossible. Jason and Carly were fiercely opposed, unable to let this happen. Maybe Sunny is still alive and still should continue looking for Sunny. But no matter how Jason and Carly protested, they could not overcome the pressure of the family. Jason and Carly also had to repair for the wedding. When Sunny went missing at Nixon Falls, Sunny lost her memory and met and fell in love with Nina. Nina at the time had the appearance of a gentle, cute, and kind girl. Sunny fell in love the first time he met Nina, but what Sunny didn't know was that it was just an appearance that Nina created. In fact, Nina is very cunning and cunning. Nina knows Sunny's true identity, but she intentionally hides Sunny, not letting Sunny know because she doesn't want to be the third person. Nina wants to make Sunny love her deeply, and it can't leave Nina, then let him slowly remember the past. Sunny Corinthos and Nina Reeves' complicated love affair makes everyone sigh. Sunny lost his memory deeply in love with Nina, and it can be said that it's a deep and passionate love. Then gradually, Sunny also remembered this identity and returned to Port Charles, but unfortunately, Sunny returned on the day of Jason and Carly's wedding. Sunny was horrified, unable to believe what was happening, and I can't believe my wife and best friend are getting married thinking I'm dead. Although Sunny is missing or dead, she also feels betrayed. Those are the two people that Sunny loves and believes in. When Sunny returned, everyone was surprised, thinking that Sunny was dead. Carly and Jason are the ones who are both happy and embarrassed right now. Even though they are forced to get married, when neither of them had any feelings at all, but Sunny returned on the same day of marriage, leaving them not sure where to start explaining. Sunny, after listening to everyone, explained everything, even though he knew everything, but Sunny still feels betrayed, hurt. When I regained my memory, I wonder if Sunny loved Nina or loved Carly. When she learned that Carly had to marry Jason for the sake of the family, Sunny turned to sleep with Nina again. Does Sunny really love Nina? Did Sunny feel and fall asleep with Nina to annoy Carly? This caused a lot of pain, a lot of pain, and Carly really loves Sunny very much. Sunny doing that only pushes Carly further away. What will Sunny and Carly be like in the end of General Hospital spoilers? predicts that Sunny and Carly will probably continue to write a romantic love story. How will they have to go through the difficult role to be able to get back together? Let's wait for the next part together.